don't intend to hurt you Yeah, but freedom is a virtue In the name of all that's righteous We'll give you all this liberty and peace We'll liberate your streets If you haven't heard the holy word We'll teach you in the ashen dirt Of settled on the heathen church tonight If truth won't come from a barrel of a gun Then we're bringing up the heavy stuff all right About the crater, but it's all for what is good and right. Let's drop the bombs and let your streets ignite so you can see the light. When you awake and see your fate, you'll clap your hands and jubilate. You're free at last, the great days are ahead. Truth arrives from a bummer in the sky. Yeah, we're bringing out the heavy stuff tonight. Bombs away! So shout, hooray, bombs away. <laughs> Truth can't rise with the heathen in the sky, so we're bringing out the heavy stuff tonight. Welcome back to the City Stead. I'm Josh, and this is what I've been working on all day long. So if you guys follow the channel, you already know we're getting bees, and this has been my, my thought process and ideal to put them back here pretty much since I thought about getting bees. <laughs> uh, one thing I really wanted to do though was kind of limit the kids' access to that area. Uh, they are gonna be flying around the yard, I know that, and there are some dangers and things I have to look for with having that but one thing I really wanted to do was be able to block the kids out so they can't just go in there freely and you know it gives them some sort of protection layer from the actual hives so I had this pallet laying around I had some scrap wood and you can see we kind of put it together and we have sort of a fence uh, I gotta get a couple more things to finish this part to make it do something but that's gonna be the door and it actually came together pretty nice I can't believe I had as many materials as I did on hand for this Let's see this all right hopefully that'll keep the little critter dog out too we don't want him back here or her back here uh and you can see i still have to clean all this out it is a giant mess uh and my dad texts me i have let's say a week's time from when i'm filming this to get all of this out of here and be prepared. So that means this giant pile of uh, bricks right here, it's gotta go. This barrel, I haven't figured out what to do with yet. Gotta go. This really old greenhouse that we used to start our seeds with like two, three years ago, it's also gotta go. It's a little hard to vision it now, but the hives will actually sit between these two Colomore apple trees that I have in here. So one still hasn't bloomed out yet, but this one is actually starting to open up that looks really good. Really pumped. I think that one's gonna actually produce apples this year. Now, I don't know about having the bees next to it, if I'll actually be able to get to the apples or if bees will eat them, but I still have a ton of work to do back here. But I really wanted to focus my energy at first on getting this gate up, because I want to be able to keep those kids out, keep them safe, as safe as I can get. Uh, I know we're still gonna have bees flying around so still gonna be an experiment to see how that all works out and if we're gonna be able to actually keep the bees here or if we're gonna end up having to move them over to my parents property because they don't jive well with our property now we're not gonna know until we do it right so 
There's a little bit of a risk there, but also it's just something I've really wanted to do for a very long time. So I'm super, super excited. In a week's time, guys, the bees will be here at the city stead. We will become beekeepers. So excited. Ooh, that was quite a bit of work, but got it all cleared out. Not really much back here. I'm gonna leave that barrel just because I might turn it into some sort of rain barrel and it gets a little bit of water on there. It'll be good for them to drink out of. But, oh, this is the apiary space, guys. Coming together pretty nicely. Got a little bit of work to do on the front gate yet, uh, but right now, this is my issue. See these blocks down here? If you guys remember back, I have terrible groundhog issues. And what they did was they dug underneath all along the garage there. You can kind of see how it dips way back down there. So I gotta pull all these up, try to level this space out, because this is where I'm gonna set my uh, stand for the beehives. So, I gotta get that done now. That's all you get for this one. All right guys, that was the apiary cleanup. You can see it looks so much nicer now. Just a couple things still. That board will go once I get the compost all situated. We got the stand in here, right between our beautiful apple tree. And the other thing inside the apiary, you probably can't see it very well down here, is there's actually some lavender. <clears throat> so this stuff actually survived, just a little bit of it. I'm gonna plant a bunch of seed in here before I close this all up and give it over to the bees. We're gonna try to get a whole bunch of lavender going in here for them. And maybe I'll plant out some planters with flowers and stuff to also set in here just so they have something real close by. Uh, and then I think the next video is gonna be how I built that stand. So stay tuned, lots of bee stuff going on, especially this week, it's a big week, trying to get all this stuff into place and I'll do a full, uh, you know, showing of the apiary area when I get it finished. So remember guys, be bold and grow bold. And as always, we'll see you in that next video.